Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek11 Development and welcome to our weekly tutorials. And this week I'll be showing you how to create action sheets in your projects. Now already in this simulator, I have an example of what we'll be creating today. We have a simple button here and our label. And basically what we do is when we hit the button, our alert sheet pops up and where we'll have two buttons and each of those buttons in the alert sheet will control what the text displays in the label. So if we press the button there, our alert sheet has popped up. We have our title here, simply named title, button one, button two, and the cancel button. So if you cancel it, so simply cancels the alert, the um, action sheet, sorry. And we press the button again, so we hit button one, and it just simply says button one was pressed, and the same with button two, button two was pressed. So this is just a simple action of linked to these two buttons to show you in this tutorial today. So already I have my project set up. It's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it Action Sheet for the purpose of this tutorial. Now the first thing we need to do is add our outlet for our label and our action for our button. So if you go into our view controller.h and just after the UI view controller, we put in our curly bracket and press enter. Now I press enter quite a few times to make a fair bit of room so you can clearly see what we're typing out. Now the first thing you need to do is, as the action sheet is basically a view that is going to appear over our view, we need to add the UI action sheet delegate. So just after our UI view controller, do space, do the less than symbol, and simply type in UI alert, so action sheet delegate, and end up with the more than symbol. Now once we've done that, we can add our IB outlet of our UI label, space, asterisk, and I'll simply name the label, simply label so it's really easy to understand in the coder. Now for our action button, we do dash bracket IB action bracket and I'll simply name this action sheet. Button. and then end up with a semicolon. Now once we've done that we can simply save that and head into our view controller .m. Now where we have the implementation of the view controller I'll press enter fair, so we've got a fair bit of room here so again you can clearly see what I'm typing out. So first thing we need to do is add our action button so I'll be action and we named it action sheet button space code bracket and press enter. So then we start by typing out the code for our action sheet. It's quite similar to creating an alert. So we do it now, so it's UI action sheet space asterisk and I simply name it action sheet space equal space bracket bracket UI action sheet again alloc bracket press enter and we do init with title and the delegate the cancel button the destructive button title other buttons etc etc so just like we do on alerts we press enter on each of these so on individual lines it's easy to see and as we type in it out <clears throat> so just like an alert we have the title delegate the cancel button but on this one we have a destructive button title and other button title so in the init with title, we do at symbol, quotation mark, quotation mark, and this will simply be the title. So I'll just type in title, as that's the only text I want it to display. In the delegate, we do self. In the cancel button, we do at symbol, quotation mark, quotation mark, and simply name it cancel. In the destructive button here, we do nil. And in the NS string here of other button titles, we do at symbol, quotation mark, quotation mark, and do a comma, and do a second at symbol, quotation mark, quotation mark. So in the first set of quotation marks, we do button one. And by adding our comma, we are able to do a second button, so we do button two. And at the end of nil here, we do a bracket and a semicolon. Press enter twice, and this time we'll do 
bracket. And we named our action sheets into action sheets. So we type in action sheet. And we need to show in view self dot view and every bracket and a semicolon. So this enables our alert sheet view to pop up over our current view we are displaying. So now once you've done that, I'll just get rid of this little gap here. We need to add the actions for our, each of our buttons one and two. So we create our void statement now. So for when the action sheet is open basically, so we do void bracket the name of our action sheet yeah, and we need the one that is clicked at button index space curly bracket and press enter so now we do if statement so if button index equals equals zero which is our first button in the statement here we want label dot text to equal that symbol quotation mark quotation mark button one was pressed and that with a semicolon and we can copy that line and this time change the button index so if button index one was pressed our label that text will display button two was pressed so basically here what we've done so we have our two buttons button one and two our button index 0 is linked to our button 1, as that's our first button. And our button index 1 is linked to our button 2, which is our second button. So the more and more other button titles you add, the more indexes, button indexes you add. So basically 0 equals the first button, and then button index 1 equals the second button, and so on and so on. So now once you've done that, we can save that and go to our view controller.xib. We quickly drag in our round rec button. and drag in our label our center our labels text and then go into files owner link up the label to our label and our action sheet button to our action sheet button I'll do something simple like touchdown now remember when you're making the action sheet load up that it does take up a fair bit of room depending on how many buttons you got from the button upwards. So if you're needing to, like in this tutorial here, um, control the label, make sure it's at the top. So you can clearly see it when you have the action sheet loaded up. So now once you've done that, we can save that and go into build and run. Okay then, so now once it's loaded up on the simulator, we hit our button, our action sheet appears with our title, which we simply named it title, button one, button two, and our cancel button. So we can cancel it and get it out of the way, so get back up again. Button 1, we'll display our text, button 1 was pressed, and again for button 2, button 2 was pressed. So that's simply how you create action sheets and give them actions. So I hope this tutorial helps in any of your apps or projects at the moment. Please send us a message or leave us a comment if you want to suggest any tutorials yourself, or if you just want to leave us any feedback on how we can improve our tutorials. But most importantly, please like and favourite this video. It really does help us widen our audience and get more people involved with our tutorials and helps a lot more young developers starting out. So if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next week in our next tutorial. Hey guys, Aaron here. If you need help with your projects or haven't got the time to create that perfect app idea, head over to our website where you can post your project on our project board for hundreds of developers to see or earn a little bit of money by completing projects posted by others. Please support us by liking us on Facebook and following us on Twitter. All the links will be in the description below, as well as the full source code for this tutorial and all our others on our website at geeklem.com. And check out all our apps by simply searching Geeklemon on the App Store.